Hello everybody, Assalamualaikum. I hope you're doing fine for today. So today, I'm gonna be reacting on another Islamic videos from Dr. Zakir Nit. So I'm very kind of curious of this topic for today because um, for today's video, it would be if Islam is the best religion, then why are Christians more? In number than Muslim so totally honestly I've been kind of curious to watch this to hear this video for today so that's why um, let's hear what dr. Sakir Nick said about this but before I'm going to start the video I have some questions guys so guys I'm just wearing hijab today as you can see and yes is it okay to wear hijab even if you are not Muslim so I'm just very kind of curious to ask this so guys please comment down below so without any further ado let's get ready to the video if Islam is the best religion then why Christians are more in number than us Mirza Wasif Zari from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Mirza, the question of Islam is the best religion, then why are Christians? Point number. Point number one, those who are in the maximum number, those who are in majority are not always right. This is a wrong concept that those who are in majority are always right. And that which is in large numbers, I can give you several examples. If you ask someone which is the best car available in the world, some may say Rolls Royce, some may say Bentley, but you know that the number of Rolls Royce in the world are very few. The number of Bentley are very few. The number of Maybach are very few. The largest company of cars that is sold is Toyota and Toyota is not the best. It may be, it may not be. For knowing what is the best, you have to analyze the specifications. If you want to know which is the best car, you have to know what is the average of the car, what is the safety measures, what is the look of the car, what is it made of, what is the pickup what is the horsepower, all these things, then you can decide, not just who is using it maximum. And even a person using a Toyota will agree that Rolls Royce is better, but he would not want to spend that much money. He may not have the money or he may not want to spend the money, he may have the money. Let me tell you, I do agree with you, people who fill the census form today in the world, maximum are Christian. They are close to 2.75 2.75 billion and Muslims are about more than 2 billion in the world. So I do agree with you. But the people who practice religion, number one is Islam. Out of the 2 billion people, majority practice Islam. At least the main pillar. Alhamdulillah. Maybe 75% or maybe close. But in Christianity, there is a small minute percentage. Maybe 5%, 10% who may be following the religion. They may fill the form. How many people go to church? How many people attend the services in the church? If you ask them, most of the Christians don't believe also Jesus is God. Most of the people don't believe in the teachings of the Bible. But yet, they fill the form and they say they are Christian because they have to mention a religion. So as far as following the religion is concerned, today in the world, the maximum religion that is followed is Islam and the Muslims. Surely more than a billion. But those people who claim a Christian. Then according to survey, inshallah in the next maybe 50 years, Islam will also overtake Christianity even in numbers in filling of census form. So the number which is maximum is not the best. The best is that which you have to see the criteria. So if you compare the Quran and if you compare the Bible, there is no doubt at all that if you compare it with the test of science or with logic or with reason, surely Quran will pass the test and the other scriptures of other religions will fail the test. So if you see which religion is practiced most in the world, it is Islam. And Alhamdulillah, Islam is the best religion. And Allah clearly says in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse number 19, Inna dina in the Lail Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is Islam. So, all right. So, that was really loud and clear, right? Uh, what Dr. Sakir Nik said. So, I also agree on that. Like, there are lots of um, Christians like there are Christians in names, but they don't follow their religion very well. Lots of them didn't go to the church. And uh, for me, like I also observed that not everyone also go, um, um, for me, not every Muslim also go to Namaj. So not also like, it's really common, like not everyone follow their religion. So all right, um, I would be add on like, 
maybe it will it started why something like why christian is more than muslim it's because maybe when jesus crucified in cross lots of people believe lots of people believe that he is a son of god something like that and you know that it's kind of historical lots of people believe in him follow christianity at that moment and also maybe it's also a historical context like um christianity had a head start over islam by serving several centuries so christianity had a head start over islam by several centuries christianity begins around the first century while islam em emerged in the seventh century so this significant time gap allowed christianity to spread widely across the roman empire and beyond long before islam developed. so maybe this is also the reason right because christianity begins around the first century and while islam emerged in the seventh century so that's why it's it says that christianity is more so that moment when um uh, when islam emer emerged in the seventh century significant time gap allowed christianity to why so that's why um, christianity is more than muslim but i also feel like um maybe after that jesus sacrifice or crucify the cross maybe lots of people believe uh lots of people believe and follow christianity that moment so they become that's why lots of people follow christianity than islam and i also agree with dr sakir Zik said uh, um lots of christianity there are lots of christianity but they don't follow christianity they don't go to church and i also feel like it's like similar also because not everyone not all um not every muslim follow their religion not not every muslim pray five times a day so they are also um the uh, christian uh, islam muslim also say that they are they just say they are muslim but they never follow their religion so yes i also agree really i really agree to what dr zakir nick said about that one and but what one thing about islam uh i really love because lots of them mostly mostly islam follow the religion they follow the rules because i really like it because they're really they, they really follow what is what is islam is they really follow their culture they really follow the religion uh, there are lots of there are lots of things that you need to follow in Islam. That is what I love um, Islam. So what I really love in Islam is they really follow. Most of the Muslim follow the religion, follow them um, properly. That's what I really love in it. So I hear that they pray five times. I hear that uh, they never, as what I told you, they were properly like people will not um see the bodily like most of the girls i really respect all the muslim girls because they can really cover up their self they something like they really protected they feel protected they are really what do you call this one grace um muslim muslim girls i really respect on them because they really wear hijab i know it's not easy to wear hijab but i really i really i really really um proud of them because they really wear it properly that's why i really love islam to tell them i really appreciate and i really appreciate that they pray five times and most especially when they do dua when they do fasting i really really amazing that's why um dr zakir said that lots of they are just christianity by words but they never follow the religion i also agree on it but when they compare it to islam there are really lots of most of the people most of the muslim follow their religion so that's what's the beauty of islam so yeah guys thank you so much i hope that you learned something for today's video i hope that you learned something you open your enlighten your knowledge about this topic for today so guys thanks so much i hope you enjoyed this video for today guys thank you thank you so much see you in my next video
Philippines. 